Have you ever had a sports car that you just really love? Well, I did. I had a little Fiat 124 candy apple red uh, convertible. And uh, I love taking this car all over the place. It was a great time. Even in the middle of winter, I'd have that convertible down, the windows up, and the heater going full blast. But the story I'd like to share with you today is about my nephew, Jason. At this time, he was the very first grandchild. He was my first nephew. And so whenever we had an opportunity to um, take Jason, I would jump at the chance. Now, Jason was a little bit younger than two years old. And on this particular day, I was taking him for a ride in my sports car. He loved to go in it. Now, there weren't any... Um, booster chairs or things like that at the time. There weren't any regulations about it. But when I'd take him with me, I'd always make sure I'd put a seatbelt on and then I'd roll the window up as an extra precaution. I don't know why. And lock the door and then jump in. He loved going with the top down. We started off this day and it was just wonderful. The wind was blowing through his hair and he was laughing and giggling and we were driving all over the place. I loved to hear him laugh. Well, at this point, I'd stopped the car because it was at a red light and I was sitting there looking in all the directions, making sure, you know, everybody was doing what they're supposed to and waiting for the light to turn uh, green to go. When all of a sudden, I heard this laughter and the laughter got louder and louder and I realized it was coming from the car on the right side of my car. And I'm like, oh. Who is laughing at me in my sports car? I looked over and there's a couple in there. And when I look at them, I'm sort of going, what? And they just started laughing even more. And I'm like, I am not funny. My car is not funny. Well, this made them roar hysterically. And then the man starts going, <laughs> pointing at the passenger side of my car. Well, I look over and I look down. There's my nephew, Jason. He has his finger up his nose, up his nose, up his nose, moving it around. And then I see him take that finger and do some little booger art on the window of my car. Now, as I look closer, I see the booger art has been going on for some time. And when the people realize that I know what's now going on, they are laughing so hard they're crying. The light turns green and off I go. Little did I know I had a le little Leonardo sitting right in my car drawing on his own Sistine Chapel, which happened to be the window of my Fiat 124 Spider. Don't you just love little kids? 